So Greg Hackett or Greg Hatchett, whatever his name is, um, he's he's mostly known for doing interviews on YSM Sports Media uh, boxing platform. Um, he, I believe, was a former boxer or whatnot. But Greg Hackett is obviously clearly Terrence Crawford's biggest cheerleader, like one of Terrence Crawford's biggest nut huggers of all time. He's like the voice and he's given a voice to all the Terrence Crawford D riders all across the nation, like just slobbing on the knob, sucking it dry paws. Like, dude, are you even wearing knee pads? And I just want to send this message to Greg. I want you to understand that they're not tuning in. You're not getting all these views because of your boxing IQ and your boxing intellect. The only reason they're really supporting you and the Terrence Crawford fans are showing you all this love and the reason you're getting all this great positive feedback from the so-called boxing community is because you're because you're praising and you're showing love to these guys' favorite fighter. And most of the videos when you're not talking about Terrence Crawford, discussing other topics, you don't get a lot of views. All you're doing is you're fueling the Terrence Crawford fans. You just exaggerate. <laughs> you do a lot of exaggerating, a lot of gassing and hyping up Terrence Crawford. And YSM Sports Media will here make a clickbaitish type title off of what you said. Terrence Crawford poked holes in him and watched him bleed out. Like, are you serious? He'll beat the S out of Tiafimo Lopez. Like, come on, bro. He couldn't even destroy Madrimov. So clearly when he's off the juice, clearly when he can't cheat and, and, you know, use illegal hand wraps in his gloves, then you see that Terrence Crawford is just basic. The moment and the second you, the second that you are objective when it comes to Terrence Crawford, when you're transparent, you're speaking honest. And Greg Hackett, they're not supporting you because they because they think you have great boxing knowledge. They're supporting you because you're deriding Crawford. And they think that he's much greater than what he is. And as I've been saying before, that Terrence Crawford is highly overrated. He's busy trying to pursue a Canelo Alvarez sweepstakes. Instead of fighting the fighters in his own division and handling business in his weight class, instead of fighting Jerome Boos Ennis, instead of facing Jamil Charlo, the Earl Spence rematch. Now, we didn't hear out of Earl Spence mouth or Earl Spence team. We didn't hear that Earl Spence, that he no longer was interested in the rematch. We didn't hear that coming from Earl Spence team. But since Terrence Crawford said it, it's law. Spence didn't want the rematch. We didn't get no confirmation from PBC or anyone on that side, but Terrence Crawford said it, so it has to be true. There's so many other great fights for Terrence Crawford to negotiate, opposed to just jumping up two or three weight classes to go face Canelo Alvarez, and we know that it's more than likely not going to be competitive. Like, the mere fact that we're entertaining this conversation is laughable. It's a joke. This man barely beat Madrimov, who had 10-11 fights, and he got exposed. He didn't have the same power that he had against Earl Spence and at the 147 division. And the way Terrence Crawford is moving, it's such a surprise that people are not waking up and seeing that this dude is a snake. He's a shady dude. How y'all can't see that this man cheated Earl Spence by working with Victor Conti? And as the saying goes, what's in the dark comes to light. Because now y'all starting to see Terrence Crawford is trying to escape the boxing world trying to rob the bank and get out the game because he knows that people are starting to catch on that he cheated and it's only but for so long that he's going to continue to be able to get away with it without taking a loss because then people are going to see oh well maybe Terrence Crawford isn't who we thought he was maybe he was just hyped up maybe the matchmaking at top rank was tailor made for his style and the way Bob Arum set up these matches to put him in there so he can have an advantage so Terrence Crawford can look invincible. But back to Greg Hackett. They don't like you for the reason that you think that they like you. And I just want to know, are you getting the cut? Please tell me you at least getting the cut. YSM Sports Media. I can't blame or fault YSM Sports Media for having you sit on this platform and praise Crawford every every single video. 
because it's going it's not going to do nothing but generate views for him and he's going to get paid but i hope he's giving you a cut at least bruh y'all think that terrence crawford is unbeatable like this man is really the boogeyman i just can't understand how people haven't waken up yet and seen that terrence crawford is a grimy dude from jumping out of negotiations with Earl Spence, not keeping his word and giving Earl Spence the rematch. But Greg Hackett, like you giving this man far too much credit that he doesn't even deserve. He hasn't even earned a shot with Canelo Alvarez. He need to jump in line. Why isn't that you, you say, you know what? I would rather see Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez. Why not say I would much rather see Terrence Crawford face an Eris Landy Laura who put on an impressive performance versus Danny Garcia. This last part of the video, I'm outside, so y'all may hear noise in the background, but I just wanted to get this point across real quick before I uh, end the video. But speaking of Greg Hackett, right? He had did an interview on AM Sports Media. I think it was like, uh, interview with the guy named Greg if I'm not mistaken but he stated uh, in the interview I'm just paraphrasing but he was asked something along the lines of you know how a fight would fare against Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez and how Greg who's the host of AM Sports Media stated like he doesn't think that it'd be competitive at all considering that when Jamel Charlo went up and faced um Canelo Alvarez that it wasn't competitive. Why are we dumb enough to think that a fight between Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez is going to be competitive if Jamel Charlo was second guessing himself, was hesitant, wouldn't throw shots, wouldn't throw punches. And I think uh, Greg Hackett response was, well, Terrence Crawford is much more of a dog. Terrence Crawford is more willing to take risk. And I'm not sure if he's just hypnotized and so caught into the Terrence Crawford hype that is clouding his judgment. Like he's such a huge fanboy that it's ridiculous. Because I mean, as a boxer, you have to be realistic, right? When you're at, if that's your profession, which starts to make me question, is he even, or is he on the Terrence Crawford payroll? Let's be logical here. We're not factoring in that Jamel Charlo fought at a different weight class. Maybe we're not taking into consideration that Jermel Charlo was gun shy because he felt Canelo Alvarez power. So who's to say when Terrence Crawford goes up and wait and fight Canelo Alvarez? I mean, let, let's be, <laughs> let's make it make sense. Terrence Crawford struggled with Madrimov, could barely take his power. It wasn't like he was walking Madrimov down or Terrence Crawford was just invincible or Terrence Crawford was indestructible is in there just letting his hands go. So who's it who's to say so why would we think that when Terrence Crawford jump in the ring with Canelo Alvarez is going to be a different outcome? And this is why the fanboy ism is starting to cloud his judgment. And it's wrong on so many levels to lie to the fans. And I'm not sure like I said I don't know if he's delusional and he really believes this stuff. Or he's just saying this to psych the fans out because it, it really don't make sense. You would be foolish, a fool to believe that Terrence Crawford, who struggled with Madrimov and struggled at the 154 weight division, is gonna go up to 168 and give Terrence and give Canelo Alvarez this competitive fight. This competitive fight. So, you know, Terrence Crawford is clearly trying to is clearly trying to big for a payday from Canelo Alvarez. Canelo not even entertaining the idea anymore. And then they say that, oh, well, Terrence Crawford is this slick boxer and he's the, he's, you know, Floyd Mayweather and Eris Landy Laura has success. But Terrence Crawford is not Floyd Mayweather. What he's failing to realize is that <laughs> when Floyd Mayweather faced Canelo Alvarez, they were one weight division apart from each other. Floyd was fighting at 147. And then he faced Canelo Alvarez at what, 152? They fought at a catchweight. And Floyd had already been comfortable at fighting at 154 because that's where he faced Miguel Cotto. Floyd fought Miguel Cotto at 154. So Floyd was accustomed to fighting at that weight. Floyd wasn't slower. As you can see, Terrence Crawford versus Madrimov, Terrence Crawford wasn't as explosive due to the fact that Terrence Crawford wasn't on snack. And he isn't on the snack program and content creators such as manager Marty has put so much attention on snack 
and shine the light on snack so much that it's making people who are using snack hesitant about using it because they don't want to get caught. They don't want to bring too much attention to themselves. And that's why Terrence Crawford is trying to hurry up and get out of the game.